thought I'd have children. Mm -hmm. um, it's taken a number of years for me because of my Hashimoto's. Um, children is an, it'll be it'll be almost as miraculous as the mm. as the immaculate conception. If I do have a child, I don't say never, yeah. but um, it's something I had to come to terms with a few years ago. And that's a huge thing for a woman to because you basically had that taken away from you yeah. through your illness. Yeah. How did you come to a place of going, I'm okay with this? Um, I guess I just had to. And mm. at the time, things were pretty bad. Like I was, I struggled to walk. I couldn't work. I was completely, mm. I was housebound. Um, there was probably a lot of things going on at the time that I was contending with. And the, the children thing was just um, one more. Right. And you know what? You harden the fuck up. Yeah. You know, illness you no gets you so thing, real. And, you know, Dad said to me once, you know, I think it's a Dolly Parton song, I've been down so low, it looks like up to me. Mm. And, and I went to a dark, dark space. And, um, you know, it catches up with me still to this day. Mm -hmm. You know, I struggle, um, you know, several days a week. You know, it's, it's not easy getting out of the house. Yeah. Um, but um, it toughens you up. Yeah. And I see, I see life in a very different way now. When you make the choice to get better and take control of your life, and when you make the choice to keep moving forward when you've been in a dark space, yeah. um, then the choice, you realise this is a choice. I can choose to either... Um, suffer or I can choose to keep moving forward. Yeah. I can choose to get up, go to yoga, go, you know, do, do things to make my life better and yeah. I can choose um, to see the upside of something like not being able to have children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were talking before and you were like, anyone who says that they've got their shit together is just full of it. Usually and lying. It's so true because <laughs> you do, you look at people... And you go, oh, my God, their life looks so glamorous and so incredible. You'd never in a million years swap your own problems for somebody else's, no matter how no. bad it gets. Everybody's in pain. Yeah. And when you realise that, you know, um, you can have a lot more compassion and not get mm. as angry and impatient, you know. Everybody is in pain. It's part of the human experience. Yeah. Um, and people have just different ways of evading it or facing it. Yeah. And if anything, I feel more... Uh, compassion for people who are evading it yeah. because it's a tough job. It's not comfortable to sit with that uncomfortable feeling and that feeling of pain. Of, yeah, of shittiness. It's awful. Yeah. yeah. But I think you can get some comfort from knowing that it's normal. Yeah. It's You're part so of the right. human experience. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um, yeah. So um, I guess in, in some ways, I feel I'm in a very good position with a platform and a blog and, yeah. and all that kind of thing to share that kind of information because most people want to know that they know Robinson Crusoe in all of this. Yeah. Most people just want to see um, somebody else going, you know, a mirror. Yeah. They want to see it reflected back at them and go, ah, oh, that's how we learn. We don't learn necessarily from just kind of having a good hard look at ourselves. We've got to see it reflected back yeah, to us. Yeah, no, you're so right. Isn't that, it's a bit sick though, isn't it? Going, okay, she's suffering too. Okay, I get it. I'm, I'm there. I get it. I'm, yeah. I'm suffering. But there's no other reference point. <laughs> yeah, there's some comfort in knowing other people. Just yeah, up and it's not sh shade and frowder. It's it's not that you actually want them. It's like you don't see it until you see it in yeah. someone else. No, you, you don't right. see your own pattern until you go, hang on. And I tell you what, the louder your pain gets, the more you're going to see it in the world around you yeah. until it clicks. And that's what I really like is when I all this stuff's going, I go, you know, like when things are late, running late or things are going wrong, I go, hang on, Sarah, what's going on? Yeah. It's, it's here. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're getting, you know, life's a self-referring phenomena and it'll just keep referring back what you've got to see. And when you see it, it'll start to drop away again. Yeah. Hmm.